everybody. Aaron, prepping Ohio. We've got rain. It was 68 degrees today. It really felt like spring. <laughs> it was really nice. I almost said cool. It was not cool. It was warm. I was outside with a t-shirt today. I did a little bit of solar stuff with some of the old Harbor Freight solar panels that you guys saw me take off my roof. Uh, I don't want to go out and film that now, but I don't want to go out there and film that now because of what's going on out there now. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Hey everybody, I don't know if you can hear me or not because it's raining like crazy, but I want to show you something new here. Uh, it's a, not another little solar charge controller that I hooked up some of the old Harbor Freight panels to it. And I got my little battery thing going on here. Uh, the red light indicates that they're still low voltage. So, uh, I would love to go out and show you those panels right now, but there's no way that's happening. You can see the rain. Or I don't know if you can see the rain, but you can see the fogginess out there. That's, it's really coming down. And so I just got a weather alert that there's like a huge storm coming our way. A squall line, I think they called it. Uh, it's kind of cool. I haven't seen one of those since like June or July or August, I guess. August is usually when we have our big storms. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really coming down. So weird, but the other day everything was frozen and now it's 68 degrees and crazy storms. I don't know if you can see the wind blowing the, the water off the roof over there. Of course, it won't do it now that I'm filming. Yeah, so, big storms tonight. So our power just flickered, and I got a little bit excited. Uh, kind of thought maybe we get to do some off-grid stuff tonight. But then I came back on, so, crap. Well, the storm's gone. It broke apart right when it got to us, and went around us on the north side and the south side and then rejoined right after it went around us. Uh, see the pole lights on, we still have electric here. The field's flooded. Uh, everything is... Uh, whoops, where are we at? Okay. Uh, I wanted to show you, yeah, there's standing water over there in that big soybean field. Huge soybean field. Uh, yeah, there's a crick. Let's zoom in on the crick. You see this? If I can hold still, I'll move back out just a little bit. Okay. It's hard to focus because there's water droplets on the window. Well, it's not even there. Okay. The camera keeps doing stupid stuff because there's water droplets everywhere. But yeah. I don't know, man. I was kind of like all amped up about, all right, you know, <laughs> let's do this. Grab the extension cords, plug into the inverter, and here we go. Maybe you can see that I cannot hold this thing still. Anyway, everything's brown now. And muddy. Everything is so muddy. But at least it's warm. It's not freezing. Uh, my pipes are not froze anymore. Uh, there's water. It's kind of cool. You can see the wind sort of pushing across it. Still a little bit windy out there. Yeah, okay, so gotta figure out what to do now. Hey everybody, it's Friday afternoon now. Uh, I've done some work on the camper today. You notice my ladder is on the back side here. I noticed it had an antenna. I uh, figured out how to stand it up, plugged it into the TV inside, and I get three channels. It is an HD digital antenna and it works or at least at least it's a digital I don't know if it's HD it comes in an HD so three channels are all PBS but you know it's kind of cool I am nestled into the hills here so I don't have a lot of uh, can't pick up a lot of channels I guess so anyway uh, here's another thing I did I finally hooked in my shore power the proper way uh, I got this adapter that I can plug in, it's got a leaf on it, that I can plug in a regular extension cord into the shore power. This is a 15 amp to a 30 amp hookup. 
and I wouldn't really run anything big like the big rooftop air conditioner, which I'm kind of thinking about taking off anyway. Uh, yeah, just like lights and the TV and normal small stuff. I uh, haven't really tried the fridge yet on this. I've had it on once, but I, don't know, I suppose it'd be exactly the same. Uh, kind of walking around, seeing little knick-knack things that need fixed up. These screws, for some reason, have backed out, and there's supposed to be a cover that goes on this that I don't have. Maybe I just need the whole new thingamajig. So I got the steps figured out, too. They were kind of jammed in there, and I think I know why. I think a weld broke, because when I push down on this side, the whole thing kind of moves. I can see it moving right there. This side doesn't do it. And I stuck my hand up in there. It feels like there was a weld that broke. So I'll have to get a... I can pull this down by the garage sometime and tack that back up. Or I can just drill it and put a bolt through it, which I might do. That sounds a lot easier than dragging the weld machine out and all that stuff. Uh, took the rest of that stupid awning crap off there. That was up there. And that little track, the arms are gone. There's a light that's missing. I didn't realize that. Uh, looks like it's had a smash of some sort. A couple smashes. But it's pretty old, so... You know, it is what it is. Door handle's broke. It opens from the outside. Can't open it from the inside. Uh, yeah, that's been pretty much today. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else. Oh, I didn't show you the solar panels. So here's three of the Harbor Freight panels I've got. Uh, I have seven total. Hook these guys into that little charge controller. I think I showed you on those little batteries. And this is way too much for it. It keeps kicking over voltage. And uh, so I need a bigger battery and a better place to put these. I just kind of temporarily screwed that board that they're hooked to. That board that sticks out right there. I just put a couple screws into it, into the, well, the old porch. That's now the addition that I need to finish someday. And then just put a couple screws into this board that's sitting on the ground. Just keep them from blowing away. Uh, they work, but they're stupid. But, you know, they work. So, well, that's about it for today. i got to go pick my daughter up from school. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Unless something else comes up that's cool to talk about. I guess that's it. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. So, there's my dog. Old Ben. He doesn't do anything anymore, except he'll bark at one guy that lives relatively close. Uh, he don't really bark at the FedEx guy or the UPS guy. Once a day, he goes over to the neighbor's property, and, like he's looking at us, <laughs> he was, he goes over to the neighbor's property, uses the bathroom, and then comes back. I lost him, I don't know where, oh there he is, up there driveway over there. He goes over there, and takes a dump, does his thing, and then comes back home. <laughs> Every day. Uh, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, I hope the neighbor really doesn't mind about it. Or mind it. Or doesn't get mad about it. I don't know, he might. They're an elderly couple that they're pretty quiet and keep to themselves. So yeah. I I don't I don't know why he does it, but that's what he does. So he's completed his business, made his deposit, and he's coming back. <laughs> that's like the only time he gets energetic is when he does that. <laughs> Why he does this, I don't know, but, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, everybody, I guess that's about it for today. Uh, I know I said that once already in this video, but uh, it's cool out, but, you know, it's not freezing. So it's nice-ish, I guess. Uh, I'm happy, everybody's content. Ben has voided his bowels. And he's ready for bed. And I keep looking at the woods, man. I really want to get up there and go hunting. But that might be... What's that? Oh, there. What is that? A clump of leaves. I thought it was a squirrel. So, yeah. 
uh, I guess that's it for today. Okay, everybody. Well, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out the website, preppingohio.com. It's where my blog is. I uh, haven't really been working on the blog a lot lately, but there's reasons for that. That'll all be explained in a video within, I don't know, two or three weeks, something like that. But, okay, I will leave you with the shot of a pine cone. It won't focus, but there's a pine cone. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching.